Rabbits in the wildlife in cozy burrows dug in soft earth, lounge during the day in grassy fields or forest floors covered in leaves. This is the life that rabbit feet were designed for. Their claws were meant to dig into the ground to provide the traction to help them run, hop and dig. It can be hard to provide those conditions for pet rabbits. The unnatural cage flooring can cause a potentially serious condition known as sore hocks. His condition is often characterized by a change in gait, bleeding from the affected skin, and a change in behavior. This disease can progress rapidly, and without proper treatment can lead to irreversible tendon damage and bone disease. The prognosis for your pet improves drastically with early treatment so it is essential your veterinarian is contacted if you are concerned your pet may be suffering from this disease. Sore hocks and rabbits are also known as bumblefoot or ulcerative pododermatitis. Despite the name it does not involve the ankle joint, but instead the skin of the hind foot, or in some cases the front paws. This condition is often caused by environmental factors such as buildup of urine and dropping buildup in wire floored cages. Causes of sore hocks Improper flooring Ideally, rabbits would be allowed to spend a good portion of their day on natural dirt and grass surfaces. This can pose a problem for many rabbit keepers. Sitting on hard surfaces for an extended time, like wood or tile, can cause the front paws to shift the rabbit's weight to the back feet, causing pressure sores. Wire flooring is flexible, but doesn't provide enough support, especially for large breeds. This can cause pinching and cause the foot to bow unnaturally. Metal wire is also harsh and could cut the thin skin. Carpeting is soft but can cause rug burn-like abrasions. Slick plastic cage flooring provides nowhere for rabbits to dig their claws in as they move. Not enough exercise. The heavier the rabbit, the more pressure that is put on their hocks. An overweight rabbit will have to alter her posture which adds additional pressure points. Rabbits that don't get enough exercise usually spend too much time in their cage, where the flooring is more likely to be a problem, compounding the issues. Not enough fur on their feet. Sometimes this is breed related, Rex rabbits typically have very fine feet fur and are prone to sore hocks. This can also be from over-grooming, parasites or allergies. Untrimmed nails. When a rabbit's nails are too long, it changes the way they bear weight. In severe cases, the nails could grow too long and scratch their thin footpads. Small cages. If your rabbit cannot fully stretch out on its side and relax, its cage is too small. Rabbits will generally spend a large portion of their day sprawled out like this. If they can't stretch out, they will have to spend more time sitting upright, putting pressure on their hocks. Unsanitary cages. The biggest danger for sore hocks comes from infection. Rabbits who spend large amounts of time standing in urine or feces soaked bedding or litter or in damp cages from either spilled water or urine are going to be at risk for infection if they get a cut or sore on their foot. Sometimes just because. Sore hocks are extremely common. If your rabbit gets it, it does not mean you are a bad rabbit keeper or that your bunny is living in filth. Sometimes they just get a cut on their foot and spend too much time in a litter box. Sometimes they are just genetically predisposed to getting it. Some rabbits will get it from excessive foot thumping. Don't beat yourself up. Sore hock signs to look for. Loss of appetite and slow movements. Sore hocks can be very painful. Your rabbit will likely not want to move around much to stay off her feet as much as possible and will have little interest in food. Bald patches on bottoms of feet, most often back feet. Rabbit feet should be covered in fur, the fur helps cushion and protect their delicate footpads. Bald patches can occur from the rabbit pulling their fur or friction from rubbing against their cage. Bare spots should be closely monitored until the fur grows back. Red, inflamed patches on feet. This is the next step if the patches remain bare. Without the cushioning of fur, abrasive surfaces like wire or carpet can inflame the skin. Raw, ulcerated sores on feet, possibly with abscess or bleeding. This is the most dangerous situation and requires immediate intervention. Sores that are weeping or are oozing pus generally indicate a bacterial infection. Left untreated, the infection can travel deep into the tissue, joint fluid, bone, or tendons. If it enters the bloodstream it could be deadly. Treatment. When the hawks are simply missing some fur or they have small red patches, you should immediately make changes to make the rabbit as comfortable as possible. Add a thick layer of straw or bedding to all parts of her cage, and change it regularly. Change the litter box and sweep up feces a couple of times a day to minimize infection risks. Make sure your rabbit has adequate room to stretch out and get off her hocks so they can heal on their own. Trim her nails and keep up with grooming so all the bunny has to focus on is healing. You can add some probiotics to his water and make sure he has plenty of fresh greens. If the hocks have open or raw sores on them, more intense treatment will be needed. All of the above measures should be taken to keep your rabbit comfortable. 
If the sore is deep, I would recommend getting professional treatment from your vet. The vet will clean the wound, show you how to change the dressings, and can provide you with antibiotics, antiseptic cream, and pain relief. X-rays or ultrasounds could be used to see how deep the abscess is or how far the infection has spread, which can make treatment more effective. Your rabbit is likely in a good deal of pain, and most rabbits do not like you touching their feet even on a good day. This can make treating the rabbit by yourself tricky. If you don't feel like you can properly clean and wrap the hocks, definitely seek out a veterinarian. If the sore does not seem too deep and you feel comfortable tackling it yourself, you will need some supplies. Latex gloves, always wear gloves when cleaning the wound. Staph infections can be contagious. Vitericin, for cleaning the wound. Antibiotic ointment like Neosporin, get one without pain relief, the pain med dose is for humans, not bunnies. Sterile, non-stick gauze pads and vetrap bandages. Towel and paper towels. Wrap your rabbit securely, but not too tight, in the towel, with the affected foot loose. This will hopefully keep her calm and still while you clean the wound. Talk to her softly and maybe have an assistant hold your rabbit and offer her treats. Put your gloves on and spray the area with Vitericin, blotting carefully with the paper towels. If your rabbit will tolerate it, you can soak her foot in Vitericin for 2-3 minutes. Thoroughly dry the foot and apply antibiotic ointment to the sore. Put the gauze pad on the sore and carefully wrap the foot with the bandage. Bandaging the foot can be really tricky. Be sure to leave the toes free, and do not wrap too tightly or you could restrict blood flow to the foot. She should still be able to move and bend her leg as normal. Your rabbit will also likely really hate having his foot bandaged, so be prepared to re-wrap often. Even if he leaves the bandages alone, you will want to unwrap it, clean the wound and apply fresh ointment and pads daily. You will want to keep this up until the sore has healed and the area is no longer red. The fur may never grow back in this area, unfortunately putting the bunny at risk for developing sore hocks again in the future. Prevention There are plenty of things you can do to minimize your rabbit's risk of developing sore hocks, all of them much easier than dealing with a grumpy bunny who is in pain, and changing bandages. Balanced diet, a healthy rabbit who takes inadequate vitamins daily is less likely to be sidelined by sore hocks. Her body will be better equipped to deal with the infection, making treatment and recovery go smoother. This includes quality feed pellets, plenty of natural hay and a wide selection of fresh greens. Dry cage and run, this can be especially important in humid areas, you want to keep your rabbit's environment as dry as possible. Constantly standing on a damp floor, from water spillage, urine or condensation, softens the pads on your rabbit's feet. This is a breeding ground for skin problems and bacteria growth. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.